Scavengers in the area. Stick close and keep an eye out. Copy that. Copy that. What the fuck is going on, folks? J-Pod in the house today bringing you another fantastic Last of Us gameplay commentary. Today's gameplay is being featured by none other than Arsenic. This guy, he just, he's fucking beast mode. He is beast mode. But yes, hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Little university action with Outlaw and the one himself. Um, I do believe Arsenic went uh, 12 and 1. So yes, beast mode at its finest. Enjoy the gameplay. But you didn't come for the gameplay. You came for the commentary. Today's commentary is brought to you by Budweiser and Marlboro Cigarettes. Let's go ahead and take a quick swig of my beer. Ah, nothing like a frosty beer after a hard day of work. But yes, bringing you guys this commentary. Today's going to be a special, special commentary. Uh, who the fuck is J-Pot? That's what today's commentary is. I'm going to give you a little background on myself, where I grew up. There's a few of you that have always been interested in those kind of things. You know, I tried a, a couple of videos, a uh, day in the life of a general contractor, and uh, just things about my personal life. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you the complete rundown. Just who exactly is J-Pot? Let's go ahead and get started. Born and raised in North Fort Myers, Florida. Let me tell you something about Florida, okay? I grew up in the Everglades. I mean, alligators in my backyard. I actually had a dog eaten by an alligator. I didn't see the alligator. I hooked up my dog. I was six years old. I hooked up my dog and um, to the leash in the backyard, and we lived right on the Chattahoochee Canal. And uh, I come out about 10 minutes later, and my dog's gone. And there is uh, flattened grass, a grass flat trail through my backyard into the canal. And this this grass was flattened almost three feet wide. And of course, the leash was bit in half. And um, my little Susie, my little Susie was gone. Uh, J-Pot cried for three motherfucking days when, when I lost my Susie. It was a little silky Yorkshire. But uh, again, I was six years old. You know, there's nothing more traumatic than a six-year-old kid having his dog eaten by an alligator. No shit, no lies, swear to God. But let's go ahead and move on. Like I said, grew up on the canal uh, right outside the Everglades in North Fort Myers, Florida. If you guys are familiar with Sanibel Island, uh, it's infamous for the best shells, the best seashells in the world. If you want to find the best seashells, these seashells fly right out of the Caribbean. And they, they nestle up right against Sanibel Island. So people fly to Sanibel Island from all over the world. I mean, from France, from Asia. It's 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 nuts. It's nuts. But yes, grew up in Sanibel, grew up in Florida. Um, but something happened in 1991. Something happened that changed my life. It was called Hurricane Andrew. Little fun fact: Hurricane Andrew is still number one most catastrophe or <laughs> the most uh, costly. Uh, hurricane in history. It uh, caused 18,000 people homeless. Um, if you guys heard the city uh, homestead, it was hit the hardest. And we actually, my brother and I, my mother, my brother and I, actually retre retreated up north to Cape Coral and um, took shelter at my grandparents' house. And when we came back, everything was gone. I, I, I remember being 11 years old and watching the television and seeing the news feed of like the helicopter sky in the eye or eye in the sky kind of thing. And all you saw were tents. Everything was leveled. It was, it was dubbed Tent City. And it was completely leveled. 18,000 people homeless. So uh, my brother and I and my mother, can't forget her, um, <laughs> We uh, retreated up to the Midwest here in Southern Indiana, where I currently uh, reside today, here in Southern Indiana, and uh, couldn't ask for a better town to live in. I live in a town called Huntingburg. Uh, if you guys have ever seen the movie Hard Rain with Christian Slater and Morgan Freeman, that movie was filmed in my town. The high school scene was in my high school. You can see my fucking lockers. It was awesome. But uh, yes, moving on, moving on. So I graduated from uh, Southridge High School, uh, class of 2002, and I was voted class talker. Actually, another little fun fact, my wife and I were both nominated class talker. I graduated just a couple of years ahead of her. Um, but yes, as you can tell, because I mean, I keep rolling. 
I keep rolling. You, I don't even take a breath. I mean, Class Talker at its finest right here for you guys. Dubbed the one and only J-Pot. So, <laughs> and they actually called me J-Pot in high school. There was a lot of people, especially teachers, that couldn't pronounce my last name. If you guys have me added on PSN, you can see my last name. It's pronounced Potiger. It is Irish. Very, very motherfucking Irish. Potiger. Get it right. Just let it roll right off your tongue. The T, the E and the I is pronounced as an A, so you get three simple syllables. Pot, uh, and ger. Potiger. Say it with me, guys. Potiger. Yes, perfect. So nobody could fucking say it. I know it sounds simple, right? Nobody could fucking pronounce it. So I remember on the first day of school, every fucking year, and you know, you know, the teacher on the first day they do like the roll call, you know what I mean, where they sound everybody off, make sure everybody's in class, yada yada yada. And it, 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 first day of school, it would always get to me, and I'd be dreading it, you know, because it's alphabetical order. The P is coming up. I know she's about to call my name, and she goes, "Okay, so is Jeremy, uh, pot, potting, pot." Potting, and I'm like, hey, it's Potiger. Potiger, get it right. Jeremy Potiger. Simple. All right, so moving on. Graduated from Southridge High School, class talker of 2002. And uh, yeah, that was about 15 years ago. Uh, since high school, I have uh, actually I started out on a radio station. And that's kind of why I'm on YouTube. But we'll get to that. Let me make sense of it to you guys. So I'm waiting tables at a pizza restaurant. You know what I mean? Making good money. It's football season. Making like 75 bucks a night in tips. So it was good money. But uh, these two suits came up. And they're just like, you know, you know how to talk. And I said, yeah, I know how to talk. Well, we run a radio station and we would love to have your voice. So I got some experience at the radio station doing paid advertisements. And... Um, Next thing you know, I decided to go to college, pursued my education in broadcasting, mass media, sales, the whole nine yards, and uh, got out of that. I figured out, well, you really don't make money in radio. I mean, unless unless you live in a large market, you really don't make any money. I mean, it's 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 a struggle. It's a struggle, especially being in a small local market. But um, so I got out of that and started up my own contracting business. I've been a general contractor for ten years now. And uh, yeah, siding, soffit, windows, doors, full exterior home remodel, J-Pot does it. And he's got the lowest price in town. Quality is installed. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Just a little, you know, from when I was a kid to present day. Um, well, let's go ahead and finish the video. That's why I'm on YouTube because I'm a general contractor by day. But I just, I still love talking, guys. I mean, those of you know me personally, you know I love to talk. And sometimes you can't shut me up. And I know that's a hassle. I know that's a hassle to some of you. But a lot of you have gotten used to it. But we got to wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed Arsenic's kick-ass beast mode motherfucking gameplay. I'm telling you, man. This guy, this guy's just a fucking beast. Oh, look at that shit. <laughs> oh, 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 look at that. He went to go taunt and it fucking bit him in the ass. <sighs> but yes. Day in the life, or the life of J-Pot, call it an autobiography, call it whatever the fuck you want. Who is J-Pot? Well, now you guys know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take it easy, and peace out.